Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and today we're going to discuss the reasons why you should always consider upgrading your laptop or your desktop with the APU or built-in graphics to at least 12 gigs of RAM. Yep, 12 gigs of RAM. Keep watching to find out why. Okay, so today's video we're going to be discussing upgrading laptops and desktops from their default configurations to higher configurations of RAM. Now this has become uh, more and more apparent as I've read through the comments on some of the previous videos on how to upgrade this particular laptop. This is the Acer Aspire A515-43. If you want to find out more about the upgrading of RAM on this particular unit, you can check out the video in the links up here. But for those of you that have already got this and maybe are considering upgrading your RAM, let's go into it a little bit more depth. So this unit itself, the A515-43, comes in various configurations, as do most Ryzen-based laptops. Most of them generally tend to come with 8 gigs of RAM as standard, but some are known to come with 4 gigs of RAM. Now this is where the confusion sets in. If you've bought a unit with 4 gigs of RAM, when you go into your graphic settings for your integrated APU, mostly with the Vega 3 and using the Ryzen 3500U, you'll find that if you've got four gigs of RAM, if you look at your shared memory, you're using around about 512 megabytes of your physical RAM as a kind of cache or hardware RAM for your graphics processor or APU. So this is roughly an eighth of your RAM. Four gigs, half a gig, an eighth of your RAM. So logically you'd think if you added another four gig stick of RAM, such as the silicon power RAM, which we upgraded to previously, then taking yourself up to eight gigs, you'd think that you'd have seven and a half gigs of free system memory to use your programs. All well and good. Now this isn't the case. If you do install an additional four gigs of RAM in your four gig enabled device, taking it to eight gigs, or you've got one with eight gigs straight out of the box, if you look into your shared RAM, you'll find that already two gigs of RAM is actually hardware reserved for the APU. Now if we go into CPU Z, you can see on the screen here, so we've got the AMD Radeon Vega 8 graphics, and it's currently got a memory size of two gigabytes. And also, if we go into the system properties and looking at our device, this particular one, we've got 16 gigs of RAM. And as you can see, it's taken away two gigs of that. Plus it also uses around right about one gig for other system tasks, which takes us down to 13.9. So not our full 16 gigabytes. Although in a lot of programs, it will actually refer to the system as having 16 gigabytes. But we only got 13.9 gigs available because of that shared system memory. So that is why ideally, if you can, if you've got four gigs already, or maybe you've got eight gigs in two lots of four gigabytes, you're probably better off removing one of the four gig sticks and putting in eight. Now you don't have to have matched pairs with these particular laptops, and that goes for most desktops as well. You can quite happily use a larger stick with a smaller stick with no problems at all, as long as they are the same speed or same CAS latencies. So this is the reason why I'm saying that it's actually not worth upgrading to eight gigs if you're currently on four gigs. Now for a lot of you, this is gonna be one of those trivial things and you'll be like, why would you have four gigs? But in a lot of developing countries, these units do sell like hotcakes with the lower specs. So generally will come with that four gig stick. So please, if you are considering upgrading and you wanna get the most out of your system and have the most available system RAM for programs, and maybe you've got programs which really do need around about eight gigs of RAM, or at least they say that to install, then please do get an eight gig stick to make it to 12. That way you'll have your two gigs allocated, thus leaving you around about 9.9 .9 or 10 gigabytes of free system RAM. So hopefully this makes sense to you. If it doesn't, please do let us know in the comment section and I'll try and explain it in more detail. Or if you wanna discuss it even more in depth, you can join us on our Discord server. Again, links will be in the video description. And also if you wanna upgrade the RAM, I will put links for the RAM sticks that I've used to take mine up to 16 gigs. So hopefully that explains somewhat how the system reserve RAM works in Windows 10 and also with these APUs. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.